more or less by chance, I, I ended up getting a job working in a rice research project in UC Davis because rice is an important crop in California. And so there was a, a project there led by Neil Retker on, on rice genetics. And uh, I started working with him as an undergraduate. And that was in 1975. And uh, basically, I've spent uh, my whole time since then working on rice, except for a brief period at, at Ikrasad. So um, being there uh, at Davis working on rice, uh, I got to know some of the people who visited from, from Erie. Uh, Gurdav Kush visited at, at one time, and um, I got to meet Ronnie Kaufman, who was not a breeder at that time. And so uh, I became aware of uh, the project of the Rockefeller, Rockefeller Foundation to give students an opportunity, uh, students mainly from the U.S., to, get, to, to give them an opportunity to work overseas in one of the centers. And so Ronnie Kaufman helped me help set up that opportunity for me. So I was able to do my thesis research at Erie on heat tolerance. And um, after I did my thesis, when I was looking for a job, uh, of course, at that time, I was still interested in staying in agriculture. And I had an opportunity to go to Ikrasat to do what they call an international internship. Uh, I was working on sorghum at that time. Um, so um, I found that working on sorghum was quite a bit different than working on rice. I kind of missed uh, the work at Erie in particular. So um, about a year after that, uh, Erie expressed an interest that I would come back and work on rice breeding at Erie. And so I, I jumped at that opportunity and was able to come back and resume my career on rice.